Schizophrenia is not the same as dissociative identity disorder. Why? Watch this video to find out more. Yes, there is a popular misconception on the difference between schizophrenia and also dissociative identity disorder. People with schizophrenia do not have more than one personality. Instead, they are characterized by the experience of psychosis symptoms such as delusions and also hallucinations. So, what are the characteristics of schizophrenia? How do you distinguish schizophrenia from other mental disorders? Let me know in the comment section below if you know the answer. Before getting right into it, let's look briefly into the history of schizophrenia. Back in the 17th century, no one knew the existence of the term called schizophrenia. But the mental disorder had already existed since then. Initially, the name of this mental disorder is known as Demos Precoce, which means premature dementia. People were still struggling to have a conclusive diagnosis of this mental disorder until Emil Kriplin, a German psychiatrist, successfully combined all the different symptoms of this mental disorder into three major categories. And finally, in 1908, Eugene Bruller, a Swiss psychologist, officially named this mental disorder as schizophrenia. The term schizophrenia is a combination of two Greek words for split and mind. So this is part of the reason why schizophrenia has been mistakenly associated with split in personality. However, the split in schizophrenia actually represents a split from reality instead of personality. Or in other words, it means the detachment of consciousness from the real world. So in what way does the patients of schizophrenia detach from the reality? Symptoms of schizophrenia can be classified into positive, negative, and disorganized symptoms. Let's start with some positive symptoms first. Between 50 to 70% of people with schizophrenia will experience positive symptoms. It means the excessive manifestations of normal behavior, for example, the experience of delusion. People with schizophrenia would mistakenly believe that they are gifted with some kind of superpower to change the world, or in some cases, they may mistakenly believe that someone is out there to harm them or even kill them. However, they have no solid evidence to back up their claim when they are question. On the other hand, people with schizophrenia will experience another form of positive symptoms known as hallucinations. For example, hearing the voices from their parents, friends, or even their loved one when no one is actually speaking to them. I remember one particular night of doing this where I hallucinated an elderly man who was trying to break into my car to reach in and steal my files from me. This is why sometimes you will notice people with schizophrenia are talking to themselves or even to the air. Interestingly, a study conducted on the brain found that when people are hallucinating, they are not hearing the voices of others. Instead, they are listening to their own voice, but they can't recognize the difference. Moving on, schizophrenia patients may also experience some form of negative symptoms that are usually characterized by an absence or insufficiency of normal behavior. For example, people with schizophrenia may have little interest or difficulty in performing simple day-to-day -day tasks like taking care of their personal hygiene. They also have trouble communicating with people because they normally appear uninterested in a conversation by replying briefly with little context. Not only that, they also show no interest in activities that would normally be considered as pleasurable such as eating, socializing, and even having sex. And most of the time, they are not showing any emotion openly. However, that does not mean that they do not have any feelings but they might have difficulty in expressing their own emotion. Furthermore, people with schizophrenia Schizophrenia would show the symptoms of disorganized speech such as talking illogically and shifting from topic to topic within a short period of time during the conversations. Besides that, they also tend to react inappropriately like crying or laughing at an improper time. On the other hand, people with schizophrenia may also show an unusual behavior of holding the same posture for a prolonged period of time. In some cases, they have the tendency of keeping their bodies and limbs in position that are put in by someone else and this is known as waxy flexibility. Last but not least, remember, split mind in schizophrenia is not the same as split personality because whenever people with schizophrenia are experiencing any symptoms that I have just mentioned, they are still the same person. Thank you so much for watching my video and that's all I have for you today. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and also share it out with your friend and also remember to subscribe to my channel for more psychology and mental health content and information. Till then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!